welcome to this week's edition of In The Labs with me, Becky. And this week I'm gonna show you how to create this very simple, yet very modern looking wall hanging light. So let's take a look at our file in the software. Okay, so if we open an existing file from the lights folder, we've got circlelight.crv. So here we have um, the circle light part. So if I just explain what each part is, uh, here we have the middle layer, we have the bottom layer, and we have the top layer. So this light is formed of three parts that we're going to cut out and we're going to glue them together. So the bottom layer, will have uh, some hanging holes. It's going to have a battery box area for my battery box to go in along with a track uh, for the wire. Um, and then on top of the bottom layer we're going to stick the middle layer on and this is going to go directly over that. So if I just take those just so you can sort of visualize how this is going to look and that's going to go on like so. Okay, so you'll notice that uh, the middle layer is actually um, smaller than the bottom and the top. Uh, well, just this ring in particular. And what will happen is the, we'll have the battery box here, a wire going through, and then the LED light is going to stick to the side of the middle layer, and then would stick the top layer on top of that. And so what we would, what we hope to expect is um, where the LED is on this vector that I'm pointing at here, we're gonna have a nice glow just going through uh, the middle circle there. At the bottom of the job you can see I've got various uh, dimensions in here. I have a rectangle that represents my battery box. So I've measured up my battery box and this is what it comes out like. The thickness of that is 0.732. Now the material I'm using to cut this out of is 0.47 inches thick so I need to make sure that my bo battery box uh, will be able to fit into two layers so it's not sticking out that's why I've got a box here and a box there. Uh, the length of the wire to the box is uh, 15.3543 okay so I need to ensure that I hide the wire before the actual LED strip starts okay which is this vector here. Now obviously if you're going to cut this out yourself you're going to have to check the dimensions of your LED strip kit um, and then obviously alter this accordingly. So if I take that vector if I just go to the measure tool uh, and if I go to span contour properties and just select uh, this vector here you can see I've got a perimeter of 15.681 so that's more than enough that's going to hide uh, my wire lengths. Now obviously you're going to have to alter this according to uh, the length of your wire. Right then so for the battery box we want to make sure that we insert fillets to that rectangular shape to ensure that our tool can cut at all four corners. Right then, so let's take a look at the toolpath. So if we switch over to the toolpath tab and we'll just tile our windows horizontally. So the first toolpath we've got is called cutting the T-slot. Now we are going to use a T-slot or a keyhole cutter to create our hanging holes. So if we just double click on that, you can see it's just a basic profile toolpath. And if we look at the 2D view, we're basically just going to cut uh, into uh, this line here and this line here. Now, the way we do this is we just draw a line. So start point here, draw a line to where we want the keyhole to stop and then we just draw it back over itself. Okay, So if I just go into node edit mode, just so you can see that, just pull out a midpoint, you can see basically that what we have here is um, a span overlapping another span. So I'm just going to uh, delete that point, so it's going to go over and then it's going to come back down on itself. Now because we are using a T-slot cutter, we want to make sure we do that just in one pass to ensure that the actual, uh, the rounded part, the widest part of the tool uh, gets directly underneath the material to create that nice keyhole cut. 
Right then, so that is the uh, keyhole or the T slot cutter for our hanging holes. Uh, so I'll just close out there and we could preview that. Obviously in the software we can't preview the actual keyhole but we can just preview it as a uh, toolpath just going up and then back on itself. Right then, next uh, toolpath we've got is pocket battery middle layer. Okay, Now the middle layer we're only going to pocket partially into the um, battery box so if we just double click on that you can see we're cutting down 0.3 remember the entire thickness of my battery box is 0.732 okay so material thickness is 0.47 we're just going to cut down to 0.3 on this layer here uh, very simple toolpath uh, here we're going to use a quarter inch uh, compression cutter in this case uh, so if we just preview that toolpath see what that looks like, so that's that there. Then we're going to profile the wire track for the middle layers, so that's this vector here, so if we just preview that, we just double click on that, you can see we're cutting at the same depth, so just 0.3 here using the quarter inch end mill, and we're machining on uh, the line there and uh, if we just close out uh, then we move on to the bottom layer. Now the bottom layer for the battery box and the wire track we're actually going to cut all the way through to accommodate for the actual battery box. Uh, so here we're going to go um, and double click on that. So here cut depth we're cutting all the way through and just a little bit extra just to ensure that I've measured my material uh, accurately and it just goes all the way through. Uh, again using the same uh, tool there, so if we just go ahead and preview that one, you can see it's cut all the way through. We're cutting all the way through on the profile wire track for the top, uh, sorry, for the bottom layer. And then we've got a profile cutout, it's just going to cut out all of the rings there. I've got some tabs in place as I don't have a VAC hold down system, so I need to insert tabs to ensure that my part is held uh, securely into place in my material. Okay and then we could simply just go ahead and preview that one and these are our three parts. So this is the bottom. The bottom is going to stick on top of the middle layer and insert the battery box into here, feed the wire through into here and then the LED strip is going to stick on the actual side part of the inner ring on the middle layer and then would put stick the top layer on top uh, just for aesthetic reasons. Right then, so that's pretty much uh, the setup for the circular light. So we'd simply save out those toolpaths and then go and cut that on the machine. Okay, so we're back in the labs. Uh, I've laid out all of the materials that I need for this build. So let's take a look at what we're using. So the material I'm using is plywood. I'm using two tools for this build. Uh, one is a T-slot cutter and that's uh, for my hanging holes. Uh, and then we've got a quarter inch compression end mill. Because I'm working with plywood, I want a nice finish on both the top and bottom sides. Um, then I've got some tools to help me remove the parts out of material when we're finished cutting. Uh, and then we'll use some sanding finishing tools to finish it up. Uh, we need to glue some of the layers like you've seen in the software video together. So uh, some wood glue could do in this example. Uh, and then to bring the layers together, we're going to use clamps to ensure everything's tight and in place. Uh, once that's all done, we're then going to look at applying the LED lights. So you want a set of LED strips for this build and then you just need some screws just to hang the part up. Okay, so we've got the machine set up, so all we need to do now is run the toolpaths.
Okay, so that is machining over. I've took the material off of the machine bed and we got it right here. Now in terms of the machining process, it's fairly quick, fairly easy. Uh, just some fairly simple uh, cutouts, so it's just your profile and your pocket toolpaths. Now one of the profile toolpaths was using that T-slot cutter that I mentioned uh, earlier on before we machined this out. And that was to create the hanging holes. And so I've got my screw and I can fix that in place. That's hanging nicely in there so that was a success the only thing that i would change about this is the length i've done it a little bit too long it needn't be that long so feel free uh, to change that in your file so next step what we're going to do is we're just going to detab all of the parts we're going to sand them up real nice just to remove any evidence of those tabs make sure we've got nice smooth edges we're going to glue the parts together and then we're going to assemble the LED wiring and the actual LED strip. So let's take a look at that process. Okay, so everything is now sanded up, got rid of all of those tabs. Uh, everything's really smooth now. So all I need to do is glue up the parts. So the first two parts I'm going to glue together in terms of the circle light is the part where we cut all the way through and the part where we've pocketed the battery box. So I'm going to line the two up together ensuring that we've got a perfect match and then we're going to glue the two panels together I'm going to look at using clamps just to uh, secure the parts down. and the middle layer are glued up uh, I'm just checking here that the LED strip uh, fits in the circle Now that I know that my strip is going to fit in that circle, I'm now going to secure the LED strip down uh, with the help of a little bit of super glue. Voila, it works. So now I'm gluing the top layer on top of the middle layer to close it all up. Okay, so here is our finished light. 
uh, and all we need to do now is hang it up. So I've got the keyhole slots on the back, I've got my screws already in place in the wall so all I need to do is just hang uh, up the light to finish it off. So I'm just going to locate the left hand side first like so, then find the hole for the right and then just simply drop that down and so now we can just take a look at that uh, with the actual light on and there is our finished light. So very simple, very effective. Um, if you fancy having a go at creating your own version then head over to your Beanco account where you can download the project files for this light from there. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you've not yet already subscribed to our channel, then please subscribe to get instant updates on the latest videos that we release. Thank you for watching and happy making.